Hi there, welcome to our experiment on specific latent heat. Okay, we're going to be experimenting with ice, melting it down to water, and investigating the change in temperature over time when heat is applied. So a quick equipment check, we've got our Bunsen ready and our safety flame, we've got our gauze, our tripod, our heat map, we've got our beaker with some ice in it, and we've got our thermometer. We've also got our stopwatch so we can see our stop clock so we can see the timings of what we're running. So here we are, we're going to start the stop clock to take our first measurement of temperature that I should be down right near zero, somewhere near zero. And then we're going to apply a slightly hotter flame, slightly bluer flame, and we're going to pop that there and start the stopwatch. So every 60 seconds, I'm taking the temperature of what was ice, no water, um, in liquid form, and it's uh, sort of stopping at 105 and plateauing out. So I'm gonna represent this data by drawing a graph, plotting some points, and joining those points so you can see what's going on. So as the temperature rises, we can see that it will stop going up and, and, and plateau at a point where the energy is breaking down those intermolecular bonds. Now that takes time, and uh, that time is, is where the, the temperature stays the same for uh, quite some time, while the change of state goes from the liquid to the gas. Um, so you can see it on this diagram a little bit clearer, just shows what it would have looked like if we'd have took it from um, a minus stage, you know, a, a minus degrees temperature measure. And don't forget, uh, solid to liquid to gas, the changes of state, important to remember. Thanks for watching. Um, I hope this helps you uh, understand specific latent heat a little bit more and what happens when we heat ice and uh, when it changes to liquid and gas. Thanks a lot. Don't forget to subscribe.